to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and the Bull. I hope you guys will like it. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. We send an inside Ladies and gentlemen, to this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Destroyer. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Uh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets caught with that punch. Lands a big right hand early. Can't take many of those. You better check. 
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big right hand. Big leg kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a fueler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, and he caught the kick. Blocks the shot. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Just missed with the straight left hand. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Nice straight punch. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. And both guys really throwing with authority. Massive head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Just misses there with the left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Nice leg kick lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Out of range with that one. Leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Just misses with the straight left hand. Him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Ten seconds now in round one. Oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Good punch. 
lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Straight right, he misses. Just over three minutes now to go. That's as good a punch as he's thrown. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed for that one. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. And he continues to work the body here. Just missed with the left there. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing a small thing. Oh, him. he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Sound defensively blocks the shot. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Beautiful strike. All right, round three coming up next. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory.
You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, really making... Oh! Oh! oh man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, big shot, man. And he landed the right hand there. tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. Division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15 it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted the question tonight with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner can he walk away and still the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. 
And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada, presenting the challenger, the destroyer. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Giants. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. job by him to get the meat of the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. The right hand just misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? to the body. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. It's such a fast leg kick. Whiffs on that offering. Knee to the body. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice strike landed there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Real sneaky body kick. Big roundhouse now. Just misses. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active.
He blocks the shot. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big call from punch lands. Now we get back to range. the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. That They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. He gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, but this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not a very good spot for him. But the guy on bottom needs to stay patient. He cannot panic. He needs to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on his mat. He's got to get his back back to the mat. He has to get his back back to the mat. So then he can start to work on his defensive transition. You don't want a guy like this who's so good at controlling his position, just on top of you and riding you. Take your time, but get back to your back and start to try to recover your half guard. That punch no good. Round two straight ahead. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Circling towards the left now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. What a finish on the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Gets hit with a kick. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Came of inches right there, oh, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that 
good leg kick. Oh, big hook. That was spin. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponents are very bad. And they separate. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Good right here. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a kick, Dominic. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in half guard position. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well placed, knee to the body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Unable to land the head kick there. Got the single collar tie. And he continues to work the body here. Straight right, he misses. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Big kick lands. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and kept plod forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. You ready? You ready? Fight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, you saw his reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Whoa! Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, straight right. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent in the position where he can get off the strikes. Oh, collar tie. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Gets up again here, but hurt him. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a cop. Hey! Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I 
could have watched this guy shoot, take down the Timbs without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Back to his feet. Punch over the top. Misses with the kick. And he lands a kick. Oh, this fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. We got him with his hip into that kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at those weapons. Look at how... Oh! He's out! He got him! What a performance! Yeah, that right there was a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of round number three. Join the winner by...